Jennifer Tidball. I, I hope that she can see me somewhere <laughs> um, or hear this. I hope somebody's live streaming it or something. But, I mean, Jennifer deserves a round of applause, guys. <laughs> She's just done a fantastic job, as have all of you, and Jesse, and the, the entire team out here, Tony and uh, Dr. Quang. Speaker Richardson, soon to be Director Richardson, just time. Um, just or time. Time. <laughs> um, is, uh, it's a, that it's a special day in the governor's office as well, and that it's a big historic occasion. Thanks, Dr. Corsi. Yes, I appreciate this. We uh, just left the governor's office a little bit ago, and. Uh, did, did a little press conference, and you can be proud. Director Corsi did an amazing job in his press conference today. So, uh, listen, I'm thrilled uh, to be in this position, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to work in this division. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to work with all of you all. And the reason why I spent eight years over in the legislature, and I know that the single most you can't share this with the other departments because they're all important too. But the single most important. <laughs> part of our state government starts right here in this building. It's the largest portion of our state budget by all funds. It's the largest source of general revenue dollars. So those are our discretionary dollars that we have some say over how we spend. Um, and most importantly, we have the responsibility of making sure that nearly a million Missourians get the care they need. Some of the most vulnerable Missourians. Um, and so I couldn't be happier uh, to take on this challenge. It's never something, if you'd asked me six months ago, that I would have ever thought about doing. But as I started talking to the governor and Director Corsi and Dr. Williams, I realized that this was a great opportunity for me to extend uh, my desire to try to solve some of the biggest uh, public policy challenges that we have uh, in this state. Now, I've got a whole lot of learning to do um, about Medicaid. I know a little bit from my time in the General Assembly, and I've been studying a lot, thanks to, uh, to Drew Urban over the last several weeks, but I'm gonna need help from each and every one of you. I'm gonna need help learning not only the nuances of, of our program, but federal regulations, and most importantly, the kinds of things that you all are experiencing every day when you're interacting with providers, when you're interacting with beneficiaries. My wife is a uh, Medicaid psychologist in Papa Bluff. And so I hear some of the challenges um, that you all have to go through. And I hear it from a provider side, and I've heard it in the legislature um, from policymakers. But my ultimate job here is going to be to try to create the kind of environment where we can all be successful. Um, and I'm going to be there to support you all every step of the way. Um, and I believe that together we can do some really tremendous things for the Missouri Health Net. I think we have the opportunity here to be a leader for the rest of the country. And I don't know about you all, but when I pick up the newspaper and I find that Missouri is in the middle of the pack on this or, or we're behind the pack on, on that, you know, I get a little dis discouraged. My pride in Missouri wants us to be the very best. And I think here at Medicaid, we have the opportunity to be one of the very best in the country. I know we have the people to do it. And if we can get the kind of support that we need from the General Assembly, the Governor's Office, which I think we will, and with all of your help, I think we can build this into a national leader for Medicaid. So uh, with that, I'm going to start on the 1st of November. Um, so I look forward to the challenge of working with uh, each of you. And uh, I think together we're going to accomplish some great things.